Thanks. Hi, Cole. Um, Hi. Within Shaw, where you grew up, is, is pretty Man City blue these days. Um, what have your mates been saying to you in the last um, couple of months since you decided to uh, head south? Just mixed messages. When I scored on Sunday, some of them were happy, but majority of them were, were happy for me. And how many um, requests for tickets have you, have you had for Friday night? I know that it was no guarantee you'll be playing, but I'd imagine that your mum and your dad and your mates would want to be there regardless, just in case, won't they? Yeah, a few of them have already mentioned it to me, just in case I do play. Yeah, they really want to be there for, for the moment. And have you allowed yourself to, I know you've had success at age group level, but have you allowed yourself to think about what it could be like to wear the senior shirt for the for the first time because I would imagine when you were in the garden breaking all your mum's plant pots that's the type of thing that you'd have been thinking about not really to be honest I don't know I just thought it was a long way away when I was that age obviously now mates I have thought about like, what if I do make my debut it's going to be like an amazing moment for me and my family if it does happen but if it doesn't happen then I'm just happy to get the call up and be here on the camp and Try and show people what I can do. And who did you used to pretend to be in the in the garden? Who was your kind of? <laughs> Loads of players. Too many of them. Name a couple. Uh, Rooney, Ronaldo, Messi, all of them. You know. All of them. Yeah, all of them. And then, um, finally, did Pep say anything to you after the game on on uh, Sunday? Did you see him? Do you have a word for you? Yeah, he just said congratulations and uh, hopes I'm enjoying it. And did that mean a lot? Yeah, I just yeah, said thank you and that was it. Thank you. Matt Dunn? It's kind of a big deal for England, but do you remember when you last missed the penalty? Because you've a pretty good deep lease record in junior games as well, I believe. Yeah, I missed a penalty in um, Youth Cup final when we lost to Liverpool. Is that the only one you remember? or? Um, yeah. Actually, I remember one when I was dead, dead young in versus United. As well, that was them the only two I remember. So it's so a few and far between. So, will you be tapping Harry on the shoulder and saying, "Hang on a sec, <laughs> <Nah. laughs> my, my record's as good as yours"? Nah, no way. <laughs> but but if asked to take one, even if coming on to take one, like several players were at the last finals of a European Championship, you'd be up for that, would you? Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would be. And just generally on your move down south, you're clearly Manchester through and through. Well, what's been the oddest thing off the field about coming down and mixing with us southerners and f learning about our ways? What, the most annoying thing? Is the Go on, if you like. <laughs> the traffic. <laughs> That's the biggest thing for me. But yeah, everything else, I'm enjoying it, to, to be fair. It's hotter than Manchester as well. <laughs> so, yeah. Brilliant, thanks. Compared to Tom Barkley, then we'll come Paul Joyce. Hi, Cole. Um, All right. Can I ask you a little bit more about Raheem, just because you, you said he was like a big brother to you mm. uh, recently. What's his particular influence been on you since you've moved to Chelsea and also at City as well? When I was going through at City, he's just helped me a lot, just told me bits of advice and stuff. Um, and then when I went to Chelsea, I spoke to him before I went and he was like, just do with what you feel is best for you. And then when I got there, he was, yeah, I seen him on the first day he got there, so yeah. Because Chelsea obviously have signed lots of players, including Raheem, in the last well, last 18 months. Yeah. You went from City, where I know you weren't getting enough game time, that was the reason for leaving, but it's one of the most sort of um, off-the-pitch, kind of secure clubs. From the outside, it looks like a lot's going on at Chelsea. Did that go through your mind when you're talking about the big decision signing for Chelsea, just how much new players have come through the building and what you could be coming into? Yeah, I did look at how many players were there, but... I don't think people realise how many players they actually got rid of as well. Like, so when I was going there, I just heard people saying, oh, you, like, there's so many players and stuff and all this. But I looked at the squad and thought, like, if I, if I, know, I go there and know what, what I can do, then I'll have a chance of playing and, frankly, it's, it's happened. And fine, just back in March after an under-21 game, you spoke afterwards, sort of talking a bit about being frustrated, lack of game time, and you said that City don't really loan players out like you, um, and that was got the sense back then that might be leading to a permanent move. Do you think if they would have loaned you out, you might still be a City player now? God knows, don't know. Okay. Final two from Paul Joyce and then Dave here. Um, 
I cope. Uh, spoke to Lee Carsley on, on Friday. He, he described you as some somebody who just loves football. <coughs> Excuse me. So, are you the sort that just watches football all the time away from the pitch? Can you? Is it just all about football for you? Do, do you watch any game that's on the television? I won't say I watch any game. If the games interest me, I'll watch it. But I think more just on the pitch. I just just like just like playing on the pitch. Yeah. yeah. And, he, and he said one of your big qualities was you take the ball in any situation. You, you have that sort of um, you know fearlessness. Mm. Is that? Do you recognise when he's that in yourself when he when he says that? Yeah, I think I'm a player who always wants the ball like anywhere to try and help the team get out of a difficult situation or create a, create a chance, so yeah. And just finally, um, going back to the free kick on, at the end of the game, yeah. Harlan did have a big smile on his face. What, yeah. what did he say to you? when? I don't he, think he said anything. I think he was just laughing, just pushing me away. Pushing you away. Yeah. Yeah. But Cheddy Mom would have done the same thing. So. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. And uh, sorry, last one here. I was just going to say, just going back to the penalties, your first one for Chelsea was that the one at Burnley. Were you nominated as the penalty taker before the game, or was it just was it just an in-game thing that? Yeah, it was just a just an in-game thing really. Yeah. And then once I scored at Burnley, I just thought I'll, I'll take him. Yeah. Was it was there a bit of a, a sort of uh, conversation before the Burnley penalty with other people? You just were like I'm the ball this. just came to me, and I looked at Raz because Raz won it, and okay. then he just said, "Take it." And, and just finally, uh, there was quite a lot of um, uh, sort of reaction to Pep's comments about, you know, bit truly big clubs don't stand in the way of players like you, like Raheem. Yeah. Um, did you have a view on 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 that? You know, I suppose it's it is the sign of a big club, right? They're not they're not going to ban their players from if they want to leave. Well, yeah, they're a massive club, so yeah. so yeah. Okay, cheers. Cheers, guys. We'll end it there. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Cheers.